Hi, I'm stand-up comic Dave Martin. I've been performing comedy back and forth across this country for years. The only thing I do like about A&W is I like walking up to the counter and asking for two teens for six dollars. <laughs> I know you've been on the internet, but that is a bargoon. And I've played in all sorts of venues, from theaters to dive bars. I've worked with professionals and I've worked with amateurs. So we're here at the Fresh Meat. This is like the... <laughs> This looks like the least imaginative gay porn title ever. Just fresh meat, show us your stick. <laughs> I uh, did not know Bolton existed before today, sorry. I haven't had any need to pick up grain, so. I've noticed one thing, whether it's Jerry Seinfeld or Jim Carrey, two people I haven't played with before, but everybody's got to start somewhere. I don't know, I was with this girl one time and we were making out for like two hours. And the whole time she just kept saying, what do you want to do? And I was like, I don't know, what do you want to do? <laughs> and she was like, I don't know, what do you want to do? Like whispering on my ear and my neck, right? And I was like, I don't know, what do you want to do? <laughs> and they just set me up with a bunch of duds. Like they set me up with this one guy who was like kind of in the army. Uh, he was in cadets. And... Uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do an impression for you guys. Uh, here's the first one. Uh, son, would you like me to cut the crust off your peanut butter sandwich? That's my impression of a white dad. Uh, I got another one. Here's the second one. Uh, oh, you're pregnant. Taxi. The impression of my dad. And I was just sitting in the stall doing what I do, and then all of a sudden, um, a pregnancy test fell and came underneath my stall. I don't sleep with a lot of girls now. I, I uh, bought a body pillow. Because it's the perfect size of a woman I want to date. You know, it's like five feet long, you know, like a foot wide. <laughs> no arms, no discernible face. So, tonight, on this very stage, broadcast in front of the world on the internet, and then later edited down for television, you will see three young, up and coming, hungry stand up comics getting ready to show the world their shtick. Let's go inside. You know, Zorro's lucky he had a cool letter like uh, Z to start his name. I mean, it would have been way less cool if it was like. Whew. My name's Ian. I, uh. <laughs>